okay guys in this tutorial we will learn how to use the outputs or you can say that how to drive the outputs of microcontroller pic 18f 452 or you can use this code for any other pic micro controller so first of all you must know that pic 18f 452 is a 40 pin micro controller with four input and output ports uh, it's up to you that how you can how you want to use it like uh, port a is there port b port c and port d so first of all we will select the microcontroller that is the pic 18f 452 then we will take one crystal oscillator and what is the function of this crystal oscillator this crystal oscillator actually gives us a clock signal of 8 megahertz that must be connected to the oscillator 1 pin 13 and the second pin to the pin number 14 that is oscillator 2 pin also it is CLK0 and CLK1 along with this crystal oscillator we also need two 22 PF that is picofarad capacitors for a better functionality so you can turn them as clockwise <coughs> so one must be connected to the one end of the crystal and the other capacitor to the other end of the crystal then just take a ground and connect it with the other two sides of the capacitors then uh, here uh, one pin is uh, named as master clear or vpp it is just like enable pin so you must have to give plus 5 volts in order to make controller to be performed well so double click on it and change it to 5 volts and press ok then you can take one led that is red p just to red and just attach with the pin number 6 of port c it is the pin number 6 of port C. Then the second side must be the second side of LED must be connected with the ground. So now LED is connected to the pin number 6 of C port. Okay. Okay, now our uh, circuit is completed. Now we will come towards the micro c programming here uh, you can see that okay we we must have to delete this out we have what one wide main function so this is the body of wide main function and and, you, and we know that with, without this function we cannot run our uh, any sort of program here we declare trace a is equal to 0 xff port a is input but uh, now actually we are not using port uh, a so we can comment it out and we are also not using uh, port number b that is trace b so comment it out just you need to write trace c dot f6 is equal to zero and what it means trace c actually the the command trace is actually declaring c as an output port and dot f6 means f6 means that the sixth bit of the port c must be considered as output so now one uh, one bit of port c is now output Th then you can come to do a while loop and what is the meaning of this it is actually uh, like a wide loop which is uh, running for uh, like infinity or for 
for like a, uh, for up to infinity so as you can say that it is not going to stop so here we we will just declare port c dot f6 equal to 0 means that first we will set 0 on port c and on bit 6th then we will take a delay of 1000 1000 millisecond means that one second then again we will make it we will send one one means on state on port c of f6 and then we will like we we will uh, take a delay of one second and then program uh, will be keep running in this way so we can run it we can develop it okay and we can save it okay now click on save and adc error hex is actually the head file, hex file which we just made so double click on it change it to 8 megahertz and go to the hex file path and then press ok ok now we will see that either it is performing well or not and now you can see that with the delay of one second the LED is blinking periodically that is it is going to on state and then to the off, off state so hopefully you got the concept that how we used to create or how we declare any bit of any port is output and how we can send 0 or 1 on these bits so hopefully you got the concept thanks for watching